today's video is going to be a tutorial, a New Year's Eve tutorial, if you couldn't tell by the glitter background and the extensions and the headpiece and a little bit of boobage that I went all out for this New Year's Eve tutorial. I know I haven't had a video up in like a little over a week, but Christmas just like caught up with me and my work schedule got changed at the last minute and I just had like legit no time to film. If you guys remember, this was the look that I had on in my giveaway winner announcement video. In that video, I asked you guys if you wanted to see this as like a holiday look, but then Christmas came and Christmas went and I had no time to film it for a holiday look. So we're gonna turn it into a New Year's Eve look, girl. New Year's Eve look and mama went all out for this New Year's Eve look. I also give you guys two lip options one being the red that I was wearing in that video and then another being just a standard like nude lipstick which is my all-time favorite nude lipstick and I kind of feel like if you're going out on New Year's Eve yes liquid lipsticks are banging yes they last forever but the thing is is if you're constantly drinking 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 and you have a liquid lipstick on a, you're gonna start to get the butthole lip. If you don't know what the butthole lip, it's that like ring around the inner lip. And B, a liquid lipstick isn't something that you can reapply all night. And if you're drinking, you're gonna be all like, mm. so I figured a nude option would be a little bit better. Plus I prefer nude lip with a smoky eye. So that's what's up. That's what I did. So if you guys like this look and you want to know how I achieved it, then go on and keep on watching. I will come back at the end and give you guys a little send off. But if you want to see how we did this, oh, BT dubs. I did not do, you guys know I always start off with like foundation and brows, but I did my concealer, like my highlighting and stuff as well. Cause you guys have already seen that. And this is such a detailed look that I wanted to kind of skip that out just for like time's sake, you know? So. Hopefully, you yeah, don't mind. Anyways, if you want to know how I did this, then come on and let's do it. And have a happy new year. And I will be back at the end. Okay. Okay. So even though I didn't show me actually putting my foundation on and highlighting, these are the products that I use. The CoverGirl Combo Skin Primer, Makeup Forever HD, and then the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer for highlighting. And then to set all that down, I use my Kat Von D Lock It powder foundation in the color light 45 and this is what we are left with girls a biz by a face now I'm gonna take my Stila bronzer in the color medium and just use that on a bare minerals flawless face brush to dust around the perimeter of my face you guys know I love this brush but I hate it because it sheds all over my body but it blends out my bronzer beautifully quite beautifully if I do say so myself Next, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour, little whatever you want to call it, kit, whatever. The highlight in this kind of sucks, I'm not going to lie, but the contour color is amazing. It's like not too pigmented, so it goes on good. It's a cool tone contour color. I know Maybelline came out with some, and they were like hella orange. These ones are actually really good. So if you guys uh, see them in your stores, go on and try them out, girl, because they're really good, especially for fair skin. The light one is amazing. So we're just uh, doing some contour. For blush, I'm gonna go into this Becca little palette thinger, majigger, and take this blush right here called Warm Honey and just use that to dust up on my old cheeks. I like to take my blush towards the back of my cheeks and then up the sides of my temples because I have a pretty wide set face, so I feel like it kind of narrows my face down a little bit. I think I'm gonna do like a contouring and a highlighting and blushing type dealio. For highlight, I'm just using what's in that palette, which I believe is Moonstone on an e.l.f. blush brush. It's my all-time favorite highlighting brush. It does such a good job. So, into the eyes. I'm going to start off with Peach Smoothie, and on an M441 by Morphe, I'm just going to take that and kind of dust that into the crease. Y'all know the drill. This is just the transition color, so that way all of our colors blend seamlessly into this. The next color I'm going to take is Poison Ivy by Makeup Geek, and even though I don't like putting shimmer in the crease, this is more of like a satin color, and since I use that peach smoothie, which was a matte to begin with, it's like not as reflective, you know what I mean, when you mix the two, so it's I, girl. If you're scared to put shimmer in your crease, this is just a satin, so don't be scared. Don't be scared. 
So if you can tell basically what I'm doing with this, and this is a 433 or a Mac 217, one of the two, I'm just taking this and putting it on the outer and inner corners, and then I'm sweeping across to kind of connect the two, because if you couldn't already tell, we're doing a halo eye today, girls. Now I'm gonna take Dirty Martini by Makeup Geek. When you use a super dark green, which is what I'm about to do, it's just like a navy or a black, you need a bunch of different levels of green or even brown or whatever to step that into because when you blend them out they can be really blotchy and patchy so if you use variations of that color to blend up into it it won't look as patchy and you'll get that really nice seamless blend so I'm basically just doing the same thing with dirty martini that I did with poison ivy and that is just taking it on the outer and inner corner of my eyes and then kind of connecting those colors uh, across the crease line. Wow, that was a lot. I gotta breathe. Whew. And then I'm just grabbing that 441 again and kind of dusting the edges out. Now I'm gonna take Enchanted. This is one of the new Makeup Geek mattes and this is a Makeup Geek crease brush. Because I want that darker color, like a little bit tighter into my outer corners, of my outer corner and my inner corner, I guess. Uh, I'm using this brush rather than my trusty old 217 because it makes it a little bit more concentrated. So because I'm, because I want the color to be more concentrated down there, I'm using a smaller brush is what I was trying to say. And then taking whatever's left of that dirty martini on the 443 or 217, whichever it is, I'm using that to blend that color out and I'm just gonna build that color up to my desired depth. And then I'm just gonna grab the 441 again and just kind of blend those edges up so that way it doesn't get too dirty up by my brows. So here I'm just taking another layer of that Enchanted Forest and just kind of building that darkness up. And then if you'll notice right here, I'm just really, really lightly blending it out rather than like sloppily blending like I usually do. I'm just doing real tiny small circles just because I don't want it to go all over the place. Now I'm taking Mary Luminizer by The Balm. This is such a perfect gold color like it's not too yellow and it's not too champagne it's just perfect just taking that on my finger and sticking that right in that blank center space and then I'm gonna grab that dirty martini brush and just really lightly kind of sweep that into the enchanted forest so you got a good blend now I'm gonna take the urban decay glitter liner in the color midnight cowboy and I'm just gonna take this and pop it right over where we put that uh, Mary luminizer at to give us a little bit of gleam, a little bit of glimmer, and a little bit of glam. The key to getting this to look right is letting it dry in between layers so that way it's not pulling off that other layer of glitter that you put down, so let that dry. So then I'm just gonna grab that brush again and just kind of tap over the top of it so you don't have it like a direct cut off so that way there's some kind of a blend going on there. Now we're gonna go back into Poison Ivy and I did wipe that brush off, that Makeup Geek uh, crease brush, and I'm just gonna take that Poison Ivy and dust it right on the lower lash line on the outer section and then on the inner section by my inner corner and leave that center spot blank, kinda like we did on top. Now I'm taking the Urban Decay liner in the color Zero. I really don't like these, but when it comes to like blending them out, I like them for that because I use this on my lower lash line in order to blend it out because they blend out really good. They just don't stay very well. Like they kind of smudge everywhere, but I think they're more made for blending and that's why. So I just took that and put it on outer and inner corners. Then I took the Enchanted on a Real Techniques accent brush and used that to blend that black out on the outer and inner corners. Now I'm just taking a random kind of like smudger brush and using it to further blend those colors out. 
Now I'm just gonna off camera do my liner with the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. This is a really good liner if you're using glitter because it slides right over that glitter and kind of fills in the little spaces where the glitter is. So you guys know the drill of my tutorials. I like to darken my crease up once I have my liner down so I can actually see where it's at and what I'm doing. So I'm just taking that enchanted again on that Makeup Geek crease brush, brush again and darking that up and then just slightly blending it out with that other brush. Now for inner corner highlight, I'm gonna take Thunderstruck by Kat Von D, even though it's like upside down or backwards, or that was weird. And I'm just gonna use that to highlight my inner corners. And then I decided to go ahead and slap it on the face for a face highlight too, cause why the fuck not, right? It's New Year's Eve after all. Why not be real good and glowy? For lashes, I'm gonna use the Salon Perfect 6115s in the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. This is their newer formula, the luscious one. I'm using these lashes because as you can see, you can actually see the halo part of my eye. If I use some halodramatic lashes, you're not gonna see that. So that's why I didn't go super dramatic on the lashes. So for the first lip option, this is Stripped Down by MAC and my all-time favorite nude, which is Creme de Nude by MAC. I personally like this combination better than the red combination just because I am a sucker for a nude lip with a smoky eye. So this is the first lip option. Here we are, here we are. For the second one, I'm gonna use Fiery by Stila. This is one of the liquid lips lipsticks that I got in my little teeny uh, Stila liquid lipstick set, which I'll probably show you guys. Um, on my Christmas haul but yeah so a nice bold red looks really good with this too so if you want to be all holiday fancy schmancy you can do the second lip option which is a bold ass red and that is what's up all right y'all so this is the finished look hopefully you guys like it if you do give me a thumbs up to let me know that you liked it if you do decide to recreate this look definitely tag me on instagram because i would love to see your guys's recreations i hope you guys have a safe and healthy and happy new year's whatever you do do not get in the car with anybody that's drinking call a taxi call an uber whatever the hell you have to do i have personal experience with drinking and driving when i was younger I got in a car with somebody that was drinking completely split my jaw in half I have a metal plate in my chin because of it I'm missing teeth because of it that accident completely changed my life forever so no matter who is going where or who's going with who call a taxi call an uber do whatever you have to do just don't get in the car with anybody that's drinking because not only are you endangering your own life but you're endangering everybody's lives that are out on the road as well so call that taxi bitch call you a taxi don't drink and drive or I will come hunt your ass down and do bad things yeah so hopefully you guys have a safe new year and you will not see this place again until 2016 I think the next video I'm gonna film is my what I got for Christmas haul I did one last year and you guys really liked it so let me know down below if you guys would like to see that because legit 85% of what I got is makeup thank you guys so much for watching tag me in your recreations like and subscribe if you have not follow me on Instagram Twitter on snapchat if y'all want to and I will see you guys in the new year in my next video next year see you next year <laughs>